Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new, what might be a mini-series. We're gonna be playing some Artifact, which is a new re at least at this time of the video, newly released uh, card game, collectible card game, kind of a la Hearthstone, with some very obvious differences and quirks, made by, uh, made by Valve, actually. It is in the Dota universe, which I'm like, not really that familiar with, but I'm, I'm moderately so. But let's get into a game here. I did, uh, I am a, a filthy net decker here for right now because I'm not really familiar with the game uh, in, from an advanced strategic level. I played a little bit to get used to the mechanics so that I can help explain them as I go here. If you know a lot about like Hearthstone, you'll be pretty good. Like if you know about Magic the Gathering, this was actually one of the lead designers on this was one of the lead designers or creators of uh, Magic the Gathering actually which is pretty exciting and I think s helps show why it's a uh, why I think it's so good but it's it's very different than a, than a normal collectible card game in one quick way you might have got a glimpse of something we're playing three games at once so basically we got I'll, I'll real quick do some basics since we can't do anything here we'll let the time run out we are playing against a real person here so I'm probably gonna lose we have three boards here. Each one has their own health and mana, which is basically what you can use to spend your cards. When this 40 goes down to zero, your little tower dies. If you lose two out of three of these games, 15 seconds remaining. then you lose the game. Or once this 40 goes down to zero, another health bar comes out, an 80. And if you can get that down to zero, you also win the game. So you either need to win one, two out of three of these games basically you need to win two out of three of these games or you need to win one so bad they want to cry to their mother ready to prove myself so one big quirk is we've got heroes here you have a team of five heroes a la like a uh, MOBA okay what do we let, let's think here for a second deal three damage you know what let's do that no accident we got a, a special little card there that is actually a hero skill Heroes come with their own set of stats and a special activatable or passive ability, which either does something when you click it after a certain amount of turns, or just does something inherently. They also come with a set of cards that is exclusive to their character. You can't have them in your deck unless you have that hero. So, my deck we got, let's see, this is one of my heroes right here. We got a uh, Phantom Assassin. You can double click cards to see him real quick and see even like what their special ability is. So she's got six attack, eight health. Health does uh, keep over time. You know what? Let's play this down. This is actually a permanent ability. Get three gold after the combat phase. That is permanent for for the rest of the run, uh, for the rest of the game. This this deck is focused around getting a lot of money and and playing with it. So I'm I'm gonna not talk about the shopping phase for a moment. I'm just gonna do something and. Uh, Pretend you don't see what I'm doing there. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment. That's a little bit. That's like that's step step three. Okay, so the phase happens. We play the boards from left to right here. One, two, three, and then we go shopping, which I'll talk about later. And then we get to deploy a hero. We have five heroes. We get to deploy two more because we start with one on each field. I'm gonna put this boy right here because it is currently completely unguarded, and I want to make sure that we can uh, keep that alive at the very least. I don't know which deck, like which board I'm gonna focus on or if I'm gonna go for an all-in-one kind of thing. We'll see. But for now, let's just spread out our resources. There's other cards you might have noticed here and that is gonna be these bad boys, these melee creeps. Every turn, every time you go through all set, uh, all three of these, in addition to shopping, you then deploy your heroes and two creeps get shot. deployed randomly. There's a decent amount of randomness in that phase, and that's another thing I'll talk about in a minute. So let's uh, let's put this equipment on here. This is what something we spent our money on. So that'll increase his health by four and gives him the active ability, which lets us choose the combat target for our character, because that is another thing that is assigned randomly. If there's nothing directly in front of them. It's assigned randomly, and that's that's one thing that like I I'm still getting used to that fact right there. 
but we're gonna deal eight damage to him here we're we got a pretty good hold on this this board right now but alas yeah so we got our hero here when the hero dies they go back into our fountain which is gonna be you know if you're familiar with MOBAs like after one the one turn goes by begins. where you have he's gone he's dead like then the next turn like he does not you cannot deploy him but then the next turn you can deploy him wherever you want so there's actually some scenarios and this is interesting where you want your hero to die because maybe you're balling out of control in one of the lanes and you want him in another lane coming up so we can't actually do anything here because of one thing I'll say right here each hero has their own color we got a there's the black color there's the green color in fact it looks like we're fighting another black and green colored deck you can only play spells of the color of heroes in this field so we can only play green colored ones and since we only have four mana we can't play anything at all right here because these cost five we can however deploy a green and a black hero in here and then we would be able to play anything in my deck because those are the only two colors i have in my deck right now we're just gonna pass here you're gonna notice there's since there's three boards going on i think they wanted to have it be like a slightly more passive thing you're gonna there's gonna be a lot of turns where you do like the best thing is just to pass like you're gonna want to save your resources for another lane or something deal two piercing damage to the enemy tower before the action phase so right here that's gonna be slowly ticking this down so this might be a one we want to focus a little bit of defenses on that's something we'll just have to keep in our mind because we are multitasking three games at once we're kind of we got the slight advantage advantage on the left one here we have a slight disadvantage on the middle very very minor advantage on this one here so we could double our gold that seems like it would be an awful idea because we have one so basically right now we can do we could do no accident on this sucker right here we could kill him get him out of the way uh, after the end of this turn because you can see down here the amount of damage that's going to be applied here remaining. there's various factors that change the amount of damage they're going to take such as healing and armor that's something we can get into later as well Five seconds remaining. but i think i'm gonna pass i don't think Three, we want to heal anything two. and i honestly i think we can have a we'll, we'll find a better use for this no accident than just killing this one minion like this boy right here so he played a savage wolf you can play your own minions as well there's heroes and there's minions minions you can get in your or i guess they're probably called something else they're called creeps but you know what i'm saying we do want to kill this because it ramps up over time i know that for a fact because i have one of those in my deck see there we go you you take turns back and forth i play one card he plays one card i play one card he plays one card or activate an ability or so on I do one action, he does one action, and then we take turns. And then now, if I pass my turn, that means that it's going to be his turn next. So when we go over to the board on the left there. All right, so the shop. Every time you kill a creep, you get either one or two gold, I can't remember. Every time you kill a hero, you get five, in addition to other various things throughout the game. Like we have this thing over here that gives us three. You can spend that money on equipment, which does not cost mana to play. So this is a whole nother resource to think about. I'm going to get this because we can put that on our Five hero. Gives us plus two attack on one of our heroes. You cannot put equipment on minions. You can only put it on heroes. So they are a very, very important resource. Okay, so this is going to be really interesting. So he has two heroes he's playing this turn. I have two heroes I'm playing this turn. We can put him in any lane, but we don't know where he's playing his. We do know where our minions are going and his minions are going, and that's it. So, I'm thinking... Oh. I'm thinking let's try to focus a little bit on that. Five seconds remaining. Three, oh, boy. Two, oh, boy. One. Let's And then let's get a little bit of coverage here. So, the way this works is it fills up any empty slots. So, if you see there's an enemy and they're unopposed, your minions or heroes will go there first. Other than that, then they'll start on the right. You'll, they'll go on the right. That's. I always find my. Uh, it's another complicated little thing. But, like I said, if you know card games, you probably will understand the basic mechanics here of. You see those like these little arrows you just you don't get to assign your own attacks it happens as it happens right here 
Like during the shopping phase, all of your enemy, your allies and the enemies pick their targets for you. It's random to an extent. You can predict it if there's somebody standing across the line from them, but that's about it. Move a unit to a random other lane. So that could be something we could apply to one of our guys or one of theirs. Do four damage to a unit in any lane is another good one. I think maybe we want to grazing shot this guy because that will do two damage to him so he should die this turn unless he does something. That's just one mana we didn't really, we didn't go all in or anything. We can still play something else here. But that'll get his Blood Seeker, which will give us five gold, which like I said, that's one of the resources our deck likes to focus on. Okay, so purge your opponent's effects. Let's see. Purge your opponent's effects from a unit. Give that unit plus two armor and plus two retaliate. So he got rid of the, the um, he got rid of nothing. We just did damage. But he, he gave him two armor, which means that he's going to block two damage coming in. And it also gave him retaliate, which was basically like, imagine he's wearing spiky armor that hurts us. Hurts us when we attack him. So now at this point, we can either choose to go all in minutes. on the idea that we wanted to pick him off. And literally use pick off. Or we could kind of just let this happen. And Five let this four mana minutes. go unused. Or Three, we could use our mana on two, some other lane entirely. One. Let's do it. Let's kill this boy. Kill this boy. Because I didn't, I didn't really want that mana to go wasted. See, there we go. He was going to apply armor on him anyways, which I th think would have kept him alive regardless. So the question here is, do we want to use a flask on either of these? I don't think so. Oh, but you know what we could do? We would die if we did it. Never mind. We could choose a target for a character. We could make him attack this guy instead. But since he's spiky, that would... Uh, that would kill us. 15 seconds so he, and he's going to get fully healed after he kills this anyways, apparently, because that's a Bloodseeker ability. I haven't actually seen this card yet. Let's just pass. Let's. We've spent enough time on that, that over there. We'll figure things out here. So we're going to kill this sniper if nothing changes. Another cool thing, I, I'm a really big fan of this card I have right here, the Dark Seer, because he has an ability that is pretty... Pretty valuable. You One can move an ally to a completely surrender. other lane. So we need to get a move on though because we are taking forever. Let's actually throw our convoy here. And let's call it a turn. Because we, we're letting the timer run down too much because I'm... Well, I'm recording a video. I, I apologize to this other person. Someone fat. If you are watching this, I apologize for being the pokiest son of a gun in town. From this point here, I've kind of explained the basics. Let's... Go a little bit more in. I don't want to play the armor. Let's just... We wipe their board. We're all good there. So that caravan is super good because its attack is half of our gold. And if we get a lot of gold, it can basically win the game for us. So what is the max health here? Max health is 8. I, feel I think I want to keep it alive. I want to keep it alive. And then when we come back, I will probably get this... Uh, I'll put the short sword on her as well. No because escape. we want her to be attacking the hero directly. Because she does an extra four damage to the hero. Or to the tower, I guess. Uh-oh. Move Winter Waver into an empty combat position. Ew. Ew. Alright, well, let's end this. We are running out of time here. Oh, boy. Okay, so we can either spend our gold or we can have our guy in the middle get stronger. I think we're going to pass on this stuff. Or No, let's get the piercing. Let's get the piercing and we'll call it there. Piercing ignores the enemy's armor. Basically, kind of like what it sounds. Pierce through the armor. Do we get an extra two, two minutes? Oh, cool. We get extra time every turn. Good, 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 good. I was going to say. Give a unit minus four attack. Give another one plus four attack. Let's give that minus. Give this plus. I want Abaddon out of the way. Stronger now. And then, so that'll deal seven. It'll keep my guy alive. We can also give him plus two attack and pierce. So that'll basically be giving him plus three attack. 
bring us up to 10, then we can play... No, we can't play no accident. We don't have en enough mana. Move a unit to a random other lane. That could be really useful if we get, like, start to get bombarded somewhere. So how are the boards looking? We are about to be destroyed over on the right lane. Like, we're very close, but we're about to destroy sort of in the middle. Priorities. Sort of. All right. What can we do here? We could kill Bloodseeker. I think that's a good call. Now he gets to retaliate. I mean, not uh, not literally, because uh, there is a reta retaliate ability in the game. I shouldn't use that word. He's going to say, okay, he's going to let that happen. We're going to get that money. All right, this is the field that we kind of have our advantage. This is sort of where things are going well. That being said, I should maybe use my Seeker to help ourselves out in this lane over here. I'm, uh... I'm not so sure. Um... Should we throw somebody over there? Who would we throw over there? Would we throw our convoy? Let's do it. We don't have as strong of a stranglehold on this one nearly anymore, but I think that we need to do that. I don't know where he... Okay, good. He moved exactly where I was actually hoping. So now if we double our money, that will give him 14 damage. That'll let him kill that guy over there. I think that might be a good idea. I think that might be a good idea. Let's double our gold. Puts us at 24. So yeah, his attack is half of our gold. So that puts him... Or puts us at 28. Whoops. Math is hard. So we could no accident on this, but I think that's a waste. We could put on attack for our guy here, but you know, I think that's a waste too, to be honest. So we kind of got a stranglehold there. And just like that, we kind of brought this back. We can lose a tower. We can lose a tower. It won't really matter. Oh shoot, oh shoot. No accident, uh, sure. Your turn. <laughs> So we could put the daggers. I think I'm going to put my daggers on the Phantom Assassin. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Is he going to die? Okay. Let's just... If he's cool with that turn ending, I'm cool with that turn ending. Because that is a pretty good outcome for me, to be honest. Turn allied hero to a fountain. So that's going to be like if you have a hero over there that you're just like... I wish they were over here instead. You can do that. Um I'm going to call that there. Cuz we need we want we want money. Money is also power for this deck. And that's like different decks are going to be you're going to focus on different resources as different amounts. This one we do gain a little bit by hoarding money. Am I being too greedy with it? I might be. I might be. So he's throwing his sniper over there. So he really, really wants to get that deck, or that, uh, that field covered. Which is fine by me, I mean. Coup de gras. We can't do that. Honestly, should we just give up this field? Because what else are we going to do? We could intimidate him to a different lane. I don't... I just, that could go wrong. If he moved over here, I would love that. But I just don't think that's going to happen. 15 seconds remaining. Shoot. All right, let's just we let's pierce pierce some bodies of our enemy. Every two turns you can fully heal and heal him and give him damage immunity though. The faithful will stand All right. together. I think this is honestly I think this is going to be a rough lane for us at this point. I don't know that we should have even bothered putting the sword on him. Hopefully he just lets this lets this be. Okay. I mean, that's... Yeah, it's not good. 
the gra. Deal four piercing damage to a unit in any lane. Four piercing damage is handy stuff. Coup de Grad, discard a random card. Condemn a hero. Condemn means to kill. First of all, let's put that on there. I don't think we really want to do anything else. Oh, Steam Cannon is a... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, let's do that. It's an ability right here, so we can do that every turn. Oh, oh boy. Let's, uh... Let's actually wipe out the guy in front of our Phantom Assassin, so we can get right into that that health there. Perfectly. Holy moly. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Like, I mean, uh-oh. We probably did a dumb. I think we did a dumb. I forgot that we are really not in a good spot in the left lane. We do get our Bounty Hunter back next turn. Leave this to me. Discard a random... Oops. Card to condemn a hero. Let's do that. No assassin isn't... Okay. So we killed that hero there. We got money. This is looking... This is looking good over here. The less I get hurt, the better. We kind of want to get like a full heal potion though, so we can heal this convoy up. Cause it's kind of our, our big boy on the streets here. Like we're gonna probably win that lane and we're probably gonna win this lane. There's no one I can't kill. Never mind. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. One minute until forced surrender. That's a big deal. Alright. We're still in an okay spot over here. And we're still probably gonna win in the middle. But let's uh let's spend some of our money. We don't have the convoy out even anymore. Just buy a whole bunch of stuff. We'll buy that much. I mean we can still get a convoy. Ooh. That was lucky. That was a lucky get over there. So I wish we had a green hero so we could play the Intimidation, but at least we're going to have some protection here. Okay, that worked out pretty alright. I think that we can... I think we can stack this guy up here. Time to go. We can give him armor, so now he gets plus one armor and then every turn he gets more armor. But I believe when he dies, that extra armor does go away. This would serve me well. Okay, so now we're gonna add four health. I know how to use this. And this equipment is kind of like the uh, the MOBA aspect. There's a lot of interesting things that tie in from MOBA, and a lot of interesting things that tie in from other elements as well. So he went for the protection route. We can condemn a creep. We could kill a creep, but I don't know. Oh, uh, jeez, Louise! I think we want to keep our healing salve. I don't. I, there's no point to use it anywhere else. I'm gonna throw our short sword on there just for later. See what he's gonna do. Maybe he's got some some other thoughts here. Yeah, I'm pretty confident about the middle lane being one of our towers. I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call that. So we can deal four piercing damage to someone. Honestly, I think we're good in this lane. So I'm going to help ourselves in a different one. I think. This will help me in my service. <sighs> but what? I mean, I guess let's... Let's get rid of something over there. 
We need to keep Don't ourselves me. alive over there. Okay. Your name is on my list, Dark Seer. So. If we... We want to get this out of this lane. We need to get it out of this lane. I wish it didn't go to that one. And maybe it wasn't necessary to do that, because maybe we would have been fine anyways. I just got a little nervous there. We can surge somebody over there. Which would be a risky play. Okay, him doing that makes me think... That makes me think that possibly... He doesn't have anything else to do, so I'm gonna move this. One minute until forced surrender. I'm gonna move this over to match it. Please tell me you're done. Oh, yes. Okay, so we got that tower. That doesn't mean we can't lose our tower in this lane too, though. So we have to be careful. All right, so we can condemn a creep, which I would probably go with the they big boy, be to be honest. Or should I go with this? He can choose the target. First of all, let's keep that thing alive. We need a we need to protect ourselves a bit. And then let's let's slay this thing. He can choose the target of it, so maybe he would swap it over to our Phantom Assassin to kill her. I should say. Bada bing, bada boom there. All right. Draw a card. Cool. Equipped hero has plus three armor and rapid deployment. Your tower has plus three armor. That sounds handy. It's really expensive, but that's okay. Tower has armor. That can be really nice. All right, so we won in the middle, but that doesn't mean we can't can give it up completely. Like, I think... It's a lost cause in the right lane. I think we're done there. So I think that maybe we deploy the black hero and the green hero respectively like that. To keep a little bit of protection here. And that way we can play green cards in this lane. And we can play black cards in that lane. So, Lycan does not have any armor on him, so we can put this on him. I don't know what rapid deployment is. When a hero with rapid deployment dies, it's immediately ready for deployment. Oh, that's actually awesome? I've heard of this trinket. Okay. Thank you for the armor. I'll carve them into crimson slivers. Do you have pierce somewhere? Oh, he has permanent pierce. Okay. Let's draw a card. That's kind of like a... Ooh. The kiss. So we can... Um, mark him for bounty. That means so when he dies, we get 10 gold. And then we can coop the Gra him. He probably doesn't expect me to have something to kill him. But this guy's causing a real ruckus. And I want him gone. I'll make the sisterhood class. It's worth getting rid of... Yeah. It's definitely worth getting rid of that card to finally have that son of a gun out of here. It actually... He, this guy doesn't get armor anymore because he's dead, which means he's gonna die too. Alright. That doesn't immediately swing this lane in our favor. But it definitely helps. So we have four piercing damage to deal somewhere. We might want to just deal it to the lane we're in. Ooh, especially now. That hurts. No, no, no. We need to... We need to get something going over there.
because all three of our lanes are pretty close to screwed. The one on the far left is very close to being in our favor. We do have a card we can play in there. I'm... I don't know. This is going to be really, really close in the end. He doesn't have any towers dead yet, but he is not far from it. Yeah, like he's close to getting this lane. I think we just, I mean, we can't do anything, so we have to let him double your gold. Okay. All right, if that's it, this lane is dead next turn if I can't do anything. Draw a card, thank you. Each item in your secret shop costs X less gold. I, That's not going to help us out. Okay, so we got a minion in this lane. Hopefully it does not block my heroes. Won't be the end of the world if it does. Alright, it's gonna block... It doesn't block my heroes. Okay. It's not the end of the world. If it would've, but... Okay. Do four damage to a unit in any lane. All right, I'm just trying to see. Right lane screwed. Middle lane is about to be screwed. Because we don't even have any heroes there. Fifteen draw seconds card. Remaining. Let's draw a card. I need to... I need more time to think. Ooh. Ooh. Rebel decoy. Really good. So he... She is I'll one of the few things that actually lets you swap character placement. However, Winter Wyvern can move around the board pretty freely, so whoops. So we would need it dead, like, now. I'm lucky I'll survive this. Yeah. Basically, it's just... How do I... Uh, I can't play any cards in the middle. I'll tear it down. So do we want to... Which lane do we want to focus on? I mean, we have to win this lane, right? Like, this has to be the... We're not going to get past that barricade over there. It's hey, done, though. All right. Okay. Let's let that just happen. This, we can't do anything, which sucks. I mean, we can... The longer I stand, we can kill this the more blood guy right spirit. there, but should we even? Like, maybe we focus on... Maybe we focus on clearing this. So if we get that out of the way, anything we deploy over there will not be fighting an enemy, which could be enemies. good. I think we can hold out in this lane until next turn, because if we... I would put my faith into practice. We're done here, like, this is... We lost this lane. Acceptable. Like, I I'll take it. Peekaboo! Hopefully he doesn't... I mean, it doesn't really matter what he does, he's not gonna deal 80 damage to the uh, exactly actual thing before anything, uh, yeah, he's not gonna deal that 80 damage before the end of the game. There we go. Plus five siege is damage to the tower. Okay. We go all in on the left. We go all in on the left. We have to win this left lane. 
and I think he knows that too. If we win this left lane, it, it's the one that goes first, so if we win over here, we win. Yep, he knows that. He got pretty lucky with the minion draws there. He got really lucky. Oh, he got really lucky with the minion draws. Oh, but I got luckier. I really wish I didn't spend my money now. Okay, so that's gonna heal five damage. Really wish I didn't spend my money. Because that would have done a lot more damage. This is down to the wire. We have to basically, basically win this turn. Otherwise, he has to not be able to beat us in this lane. Which is possible. So let's double check. What's, when blocked, it, in addition to the battle damage to the blocking unit, does siege. So it's kind of like trample. Sisters trained okay, well. so that's going to deal some damage up there. Hmm. Just thinking here. Here has four health. He's already got that there. The blood of House Avery is we can change our target. I don't know that we need to, you must be but we're getting damage. Yeah, he does that. I'm going to do that too. This is like, oh, discard a random card, condemn a hero. That's a big deal. If we had the mana for it. That's why you draw your cards first, everybody. That's why you play your card draws first. My that would have been a really big deal. Shoot. Should we attack somebody else? It has pierce. So six damage wouldn't be enough. But we do have the four piercing damage over there. 15 seconds ah! remaining. Whatever, let's just put this on here for now. I guess we aren't gonna we're not gonna win this lane this turn. Shoot, if we would have got the Coupe de Gras right away, we could have got rid of Abaddon. That would have been really nice. So. What do you mean insufficient mana? Oh, we do have two mana. Oops. So we can swap places with this. That might be a good idea, actually. I hope this works. Because we're going to kill Abaddon next turn with Coupe de Gras. So it doesn't really matter how much damage we deal to him. This kills another minion over here, which means more direct damage. Anything that dies over here on the left means more direct damage next turn. He's got a... He's using... He has one card in his hand. I don't think he can win this lane this turn. I think we are going to win. Unless he can deal 80 damage over here. This is where the magic is. This is the... This is the end. This is the coup de gras, if you will. Alright. Big boom. A lot just happened there. He's got a lot of direct damage on me. I, I didn't think about that, though. But we do have the coup de gras. We don't even have to get rid of Abaddon if that's... You know, not the one... To get rid of. But, uh, big deal here. We can get rid of Winter Wyvern, which is 13 damage. Guys, I think we did it. I think we're good. Okay, so he's going to deal 9 to me. I mean, if we don't win this turn, he will this is win. I think that lose. is just fact. We do get to deploy Lycan again. Because of that fast... Fast acting business. All right. 
Let's get down here. All the magic's happening over here, right? Like, we got 46 damage on the board. I have no idea how he could swing this. And we have the convoy on top of that. And we have that. Perhaps I'll remind him of my power. Let's just... He's probably going to surrender. But let's just play our potion of knowledge. Okay. Give it damage immunity. That does not give it coupe de gras immunity. You won't feel a thing. Oh, baby. I am Can even do this. Get extra damage guaranteed on him. I mean, it's all unnecessary, but... Especially because we could have, like, even put the convoy over there. Block that. All right. I mean, we're, we're just styling on him now, but... If... if because the way this game works, if he has something up his sleeve, I could be screwed over by not playing something. I don't know if... I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say he's done so. But... I'll make good use of this. Okay. He's, he keeps passing, so I guess I am just being rude. I, okay, good, 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 good. Oh, boy! In the end, victory! So that was Artifact. That was our first on-camera game of Artifact. I'm absolutely so excited that I won. <laughs> I thought I was going to get styled on, but I uh, we held out pretty well. I know we made some obvious mistakes. Not claiming to be good at this game, I have probably played it for a couple hours, to be honest. I just, my knowledge comes from other games and from picking up through the tutorial, which I'll be honest, the tutorial to this game is not amazing. So you probably would have, will have learned more from what I just told you there, for sure. But yeah, there's the there's a lot of stuff to this for the fact that it just came out. Uh, it's pretty pretty dang cool. I've been really quite into it. I'll probably be playing some more. I don't know that I'm like I said, it might be a mini series. I'm not sure that I'm gonna play a lot. Maybe I will. Who knows? I I used to play a lot of card games on my channel. Haven't so much recently, ever since the resurgence of uh, Enter the Gungeon, the new big update. But let me know. If you are new here, let me know that you're new here and you're excited about Artifact. Uh, like the video if you like it, because that shows me that you liked it. Those are some ways to, to let me know you want more. Like, quite literally, it sounds like perplexing that I would have to say it, but, you know, it, it matters. Uh, comment if you have something to say. Don't if you don't. Subscribe for daily videos. I do a lot of roguelite. Hopefully, can do some Artifact as well. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.